What's up YouTube? This is Veggie. I'm back with another video. I haven't really posted a tier list to YouTube since around this time last year when I made the early Street Fighter 6 Season 1 tier list. So now I'm making the early Street Fighter 6 Season 2 tier list. There were some pretty bad mistakes in the first tier list or some bad predictions. But overall, I think it was a pretty good tier list. So I think maybe we can do even better this time with the more knowledge that we have about the game and the characters after the last patch. So uh, I'll just start with Ryu. I think it's... Uh, I don't know what you guys think. So I think Ryu, A, A tier. He's definitely A plus tier, I think. He's like one of... He's not... He's just, he doesn't have that auto win characteristic about him like a lot of characters in s tier will do where they feel like they can make a lot of mistakes and still win i think he's a very good character uh, i don't think he's like uh, one of the absolute best characters but they definitely made him a lot more solid and more unique from for instance ken or i think he was always unique from ken but they made him work better than he worked uh, in the last game you, you when you fight a ryu it will be a lot more fireballs than when you fight a ken uh, so i think ryu is a solid character solar plexus buff is actually a crazy buff because you feel you you try to walk back you're so used to being able to walk back and let moves whip so you walk back and you have an automatic timing to whip punish that and you're just standing still and you get counter it so things like that need to get used to and not trying to press after every three lights because of the light hashogeki which was last patch but yeah it's a strong character i think a plus i think i want to put ryu in a plus for now now luke i still think he's an s tier character his crouching medium punch still works his jump heavy punch still works oddly enough i don't think it's changed at all uh someone said to me that it's probably because the hitbox is there so fast that you don't have time to add here it doesn't really matter what the hurtbox looks like so i've had my lariat actually my ex lariat actually lose in this patch to that jump heavy punch so luke jump heavy punch is there crouch medium punch is there crouch medium kick is there stand heavy punch is even better he's auto anti-air with crouching head punch is nerfed but the, the the like the best looks already used uh, dp for anti-air because it's better overall if you can do it so i think that's not really a nerf to the character i think uh maybe he does a bit less damage but he still does a lot of damage and he i think he's one of the most well-rounded characters in the game and i 100 have uh, luke in my s tier uh but I, I really like luke's design still i think it's really fun to fight luke i think it's fun to play as luke and i think if a character is to be s tier i think luke is a good pick for it all around character i think uh, it's just fun to fight him and fun to play as him chun li i also put chun li in s tier i don't see how she's not in s tier uh like the, the weakness chun li used to have is that if you jumped when she threw up kikoken she would not get you would not punish her but you would at least get plus frames and you will be in there and you could kind of like guess a jump over her buttons every now and then so she had to she had amazing buttons in street fighter 4 street fighter 5 but she had to be like kind of careful because she might get jumped on but that is completely gone with the stand heavy kick anterior for like half your life bar which is still there more or less it's nerfed by 20 percent, but it still feels very damaging and she has the DP input, or not DP input, but down down input for a DP. So I think, like, I don't really see where she would have a weakness, except for not having a real throw loop in the corner. I like the way that Chun Li's throw is in the corner, where she doesn't get to loop it. I wish more throws were like that, but I don't think it hinders her overall with her like three guess air safe jumps after some of her knockdowns into those stomps and heavy kicks, and it's very hard to uh, deal with uh, Chun Li in the corner for sure. Yeah, so Chun-Li, obvious S tier to me. She has amazing anti -airs. She has amazing neutral. She has fireball drivers. She has crouch medium kick drivers. She has safe jump setups in the corner. She has mad damage. She has mad utility. I just don't see what would be weak with Chun-Li. She's definitely an S tier character, I think. Um, then we have Jamie. I think now... I think definitely not an S tier character. But he's a strong character. Also kind of random to fight against a lot of the time. Yeah. Now, me, me, Jamie, I don't have much to say. I always thought he was annoying to fight. And now he just seems more solid or more safe random or whatever you want to call it. He just feels better. Uh, like, he feels very he's awkward to deal with. And now it's, I think, even harder to deal with that. Because they made some of his kind of wild stuff even safer. And he has... He got some reduction in damage after command throw. But overall, I think it's just strong. He's a, definitely a strong character. A-plus character, let's put him there. Guile is a character I would 100% also put in S-tier. Um, I felt he was a S-tier character last season. And he lost, what? 
he had 20% scaling added to one of his moves. I, he's there, Fireball Drive Rush. Fireball Drive Rush, Cockney Kick, Fireball Drive Rush over it. Fireball Drive Rush, that um, Sobat Knee or whatever it's called. Fireball Drive Rush, Cockney Punch, Fireball Drive Rush. Throw. Uh, left, right, high, low, let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just so such a good character. And it's just... His, his zoning game is amazing, and his uh, pressure from this zoning game is just still absolutely amazing. I definitely put this character in S tier. I don't feel like they're like people would say he's losing, but he's losing to JP, losing to JP. I, I don't see him losing to JP any more than uh, like it, it doesn't look like a true counter pick. Um, maybe it is. I'm not a guy main. I'm definitely not a JP main. But uh, yeah, uh, and then we have Kimberly. I always thought she was an A tier character, and I still think she's. An A plus character. I really think she's really good. I don't think she's an S tier strength, but I think she's a very good character. I have never understood that just because she lost her DP, she's not good. She is very frustrating to play against. She's very she, great offense. To me, she's one of the characters uh, where it feels like parrying on with all the different timings she always doing with all of her stuff. It just feels so much more risky to. Try to evade throw slash parry on defense. And I feel like her offense is super, super, super strong. Uh, and I think her neutral game is also super strong. I think uh, Kimberly's neutral game is actually amazing. They say she don't. She, her style medium kick is like, I don't know what this it That button is so good. To me, she's an A plus character. It's very hard for me to put her lower than A plus. That's why I have her in A plus. I think she's very strong. And then we go to Jury who's always an S tier character. She was not nerfed. She's 100% an S tier character. What does she not have? What does she not have? She has everything. She's amazing. She's such a good character. And she's basically the same as last season while everyone else is nerfed. So no, no, Jury, S tier 100%. Don't know why everyone started downplaying Jury. She's an amazing character, very hard to deal with, very hard to fight against, and she has like so many tools, so much potential, so much mix-up going. Nah, this, this character is amazing. She has been since the start of the game. Dalsim, I would say, is a regular A-tier character. I would not put him in B-tier. To me, Dalsim is a regular, regular A-tier character. Like a flawed A-tier character. He's good, but flawed more flawed than this and definitely more flawed than the S tiers. I did see some of these changes might help him and maybe wake up drive reversal also will help him but wake up drive reversal right now does not seem that strong. People do not really seem to have much of a problem with wake up drive reversal. I think any character that needs to use drive rush for their Oki and kind of has to do like can't do drive rush into a jab. I think wake up drive reversal is good against them because they have to commit they have to block as if it was a DP on that kind of Oki. But against any character that can like drive rush into a jab and still be plus and in their face, I think drive reversal is just not really helping. Because at the same time that you are shimming, your shimmy beats both their tech and their wake up drive reversal. And a lot of players will do wake up drive reversals to beat throw. Uh, and feel like safer than a tech, I guess, because it will also be the delay and stuff like that. But to me, it feels like this option loses to so much. It loses to neutral jump shimmy. It loses to regular shimmy. It loses to meaty button. Uh, I thought it would be a lot stronger than it is. And I think it's too slow to be good. And uh, maybe if it was faster, it would be super uh, obnoxious to deal with. But um, yeah, I don't think drive reversal is that strong right now. I might be proven wrong. But and and for Zangief, some of his knockdowns, drive reversal is okay. Zangief has to hard read it like has to block but then at the same time they spend two bar to get you off in a situation where you didn't have anything guaranteed anyway so i don't know i'm not sh too sure about drive reversal it's nice to have but it doesn't seem that strong uh right now people might get better at using drive reversal in the future and then uh, maybe we will see that with dalsim and dalsim will jump tears because of it but right now i'm not seeing it but that's why this is an early tier list so that might be wrong dalsim i think is good but and it's, it's hard for me to say because i never liked dalsim but this is definitely the game that i like fighting dalsim the most out of all the games i have fought dalsim <laughs> and then honda b tier should we put him in b tier anyone want, want to say something no i think i personally think honda was super nerfed last patch that's me personally I think, this is just me, I think that those nerfs were nerfs. I'll, everyone says he got a lot better, but since he got changed, 
like playing against Honda is it's not it's like maybe it we need I need to see I have been unlucky with who I've been fighting or I've gotten lucky when I've been fighting them or they haven't adjusted to the buffs yet in general but I just think that Honda is so much more easy to deal with it feels like you're actually playing a neutral game against against Honda now and when they do stuff like the headbutt sometimes people start out very positive about a patch and they think like oh yeah this is really good for my character and then they realize that maybe it's not but also maybe the already solid hunters weren't really using headbutt like that which i think they should have been because headbutt was absolutely annoying to deal with headbutt together with butt smash or butt slam or whatever so maybe they weren't already using it like that to begin with so then of course it's only buffs but i definitely don't feel personally as zangief i just like you cannot use headbutt the same way absolutely not against all characters you are out I just don't agree. Like, Luke can always press crouching medium punch afterwards. If you block a headbutt from Honda, it's like he blocked plus three normal that's a little bit further out. So every time you block a headbutt, you could have perfect parried it. If you don't get the perfect parry, you can always force something. It's, I mean, it's at least your advantageous position, in my opinion. I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong with Honda, but after the nerfs to Honda, I actually enjoy playing against Honda more than I did before. Uh, I mean, it's still... It is still Honda, so we'll see. Maybe I'm proven wrong in the future. It's not like something I'm saying. This is what people are going to say in one year. Maybe I'm completely wrong. This is what I feel right now. An A-tier character, Mr. Honda. So, yeah, we'll see. Ken, I think he's now back to being S-tier, by the way. Because everyone was nerfed a lot more than Ken of the S-tiers or in high tiers. So I think Ken is a lot better now again than he was. I think Ken is 100% uh back into the s tier discussion because he didn't lose as much uh as the other characters i think ken is super strong now since he didn't really lose much in the last patch what he lost he lost in the patch before and everyone else kept losing uh stuff uh except for ken so i feel like ken is back to being good uh i think at the end last season he was not comparable to a character like luke but now maybe he's comparable to a character like luke we'll see i think he's really good again now uh things things might um evolve in that so i don't know yeah and then we go to blanca definitely still an s tier character i'm not gonna order uh more or less anything by the way i'm just gonna put them in as they come in the different tier lists because i think ordering is too hard especially very early very hard dj still an obvious s tier yeah he lost some damage okay he didn't lose his sway he didn't lose his dry brush he didn't lose his stuff like that you know what i mean it's like DJ still just like let me say it again DJ is the same character with a little bit less damage but overall compared to the cast DJ is the same character because every character got less damage so it's not like just DJ got nerfed with damage they all did more or less everyone did some got more damage some kept their damage but more or less everyone lost damage right I mean you will still lose to a driver's jab in or a driver's medium punch or uh, driver's EX thing or driver's sway or just ran neutral jump sway you can still lose it he plays exactly the same nothing was changed with the game plan he does less damage but so does a lot of other characters so DJ obviously to me still an S tier character Manon I think she's a regular A tier not an A plus but a regular A tier character being bottom one does not mean that uh, she cannot be A tier bottom one is what I'm saying I agree that she's probably the weakest in the cast but is she a B tier character though? She has probably the strongest button game in the game. She has decent Oki. Okay. Ah, she's weak. She's weak. Ah, you guys are right. Uh, Marisa, I think, is one of those characters in A+. Too weak. Too many weaknesses to be in S tier. But the damage buffs seem absurd. I haven't really played against her myself uh, that much to see or feel it. But she feels like a real um, strong character with flaws so she's definitely flawed like i feel all the characters in eight years have and i think that's kind of good design though when the characters are here they start to have maybe not particularly marissa because she can be very frustrating to play against but characters start to seem to have like they have strengths and weaknesses while characters in the s tier just seem to have strength and a lack of weaknesses i feel i don't have much to say i think it's wild that her damage got buffed to be honest uh what is it what is it <laughs> she already deleted your life bar so 
Yeah, they're definitely keeping the direction for that character. That's a character I thought actually would lose some damage, but they're just keeping that direction going and she's just getting more damage. Uh, JP, obviously still an S-tier character. I don't see how he would not be S-tier with having absolutely everything under the sun. His crash beating punch is still very hard to deal with. Stand heavy punch still extremely hard to whiff punish unless you have a good low, uh, a far range low or a, uh, a good low in general. And his crash meter punch, stand heavy punch, I think those buttons are too, still very amazing. Crash heavy punch, anti air still amazing. Uh, he's just, I don't, people started saying he lost too much and it's like, it's the same character. What are you talking about? Just wait and see a couple of months from now. JP, people will, he will be everywhere again. They just need to like explore the other characters and then realize that JP was always the, the one. He got a little bit weaker though, but I still think he's, I, where's the flaw? I don't see a flaw. I really don't see a, a flaw in this character. That's what makes a character an S tier character, right? Either no flaws or just too like overbearing. That the flaw doesn't really matter. And then we have Cammy. It's a hard call with Cammy, I think. I think she's an A plus character right now. I might change my opinion on this later, but I personally think Cammy is an A plus character now. She lost a little bit, but so remember that this isn't ordered, so Cammy would probably be like at the very top of the A tier. Maybe we'll try to order it. No, there's no point in ordering now, it's too early. But I think maybe just ordering Cami just so people understand that she's very close to S tier can be good because I think she's close to being S tier but and she can be very frustrating to play against so it's hard for me to call her S tier or A plus tier but you know what I'm gonna put her in A plus tier right now I think so yeah let's put her in A plus tier right now like she always feels like an S tier but then you see two Lukes, one Chun, two Giles Two Kens, two Blancas, two DJs, three JPs or one JP or whatever. Like the top 32 is always filled with these characters. Not, not so much these characters. It's hard to call. We might change that later. And then Lily. Is she a regular A tier or an A plus tier? Yeah, so uh, I think I think Lily is an A plus character. Very strong, very good. There's not much to say really. She's frustrating to deal with. She's good at what she does. She's definitely too flawed to be an S tier, but she's, she's, yeah, she feels pretty good. And then we have Zangief. And I also kind of want to, to not look like a down player. I kind of want to order Zangief as well. I would put him 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I would put him in potential top 10 uh, right now. Uh, he's, he's too flawed to be an S tier. An S tier character is not all to lose to multiple characters in the game. So I think Zangief is really good. Like I think he's very strong right now. He feels super strong, but too flawed to be an S tier, but strong enough to be top 10. That's what I feel. He can definitely rob you a lot more now, get a lot more lucky on you, and he could probably feel a lot more frustrating to deal with. And yeah, he's super buffed, and many of the buffs I don't understand, but I'll take them. Uh, I just hope he doesn't get like emergency patched. After JP and the other S tiers got to enjoy a complete year of Street Fighter 6. JP and the gang got to enjoy a complete year of Street Fighter 6. Please don't emergency patch Zangief when he might be top 10. Yeah, so I think Gif is really good now. Uh, might change, maybe I feel that he's not good anymore, but I doubt it. Right now, if he stays this way, he will be a top 10 character or a potential top 10 character for me. Uh, maybe even better than Kami. So I kind of have to put him because of Akuma. Akuma's coming, right? So oh, Rashid is coming too! Wow, Rashid is the next character. Obvious S tier, Rashid. What does he say again? I want to say it. I want to say. It. What does Rashid say? What does Rashid say? He said, Rashid of the Turbulent Wind. Okay, Rashid of the Turbulent Wind. Let's go. Uh, so Rashid, I feel very awkward about. He's one of the I don't want to put him that low in the S tier. He has to be up here. Uh, he's one of the absolute greatest characters in the game. Uh, so amazing, so strong. I will put. I mean, I promised myself not to order too much. Um, so I will put him there, but he could easily be up here. Rashid, easy S tier character, has absolutely everything and then some. I mean, <laughs> what is there not to like about this character? I think the only thing that might be slightly weaker than the other S tiers is like the button game. 
the buttons are good, but they're not like overbearing. It's not like you feel like, oh my, I can't press against Rashid's crowd medium punch. I can't press against Rashid's uh, stand heavy punch. Oh, is that what he says? I summon you, Great Desert Storm. Ah, oh, Rashid is cool. I really like Rashid's like uh, visual design, uh, voice actor design, his attitude, his style. I think maybe some in the future some tuning to like some of his offense might be good because it's very overwhelming and ab absolutely an obvious S tier. But other than that, I like Rashid and especially playing against solid Rashids is very fun because like button based stuff like that can be super fun. So yeah, I, th I think Rashid is still up there. Amazing character. And then Aki, I think it's like one of those A plus characters, probably too flawed to be an S tier, even with all the buffs. Uh, so I put Aki there. You know what? We will go back to Manon later, by the way, because I think there is one B tier character in the game. And it's Zangief! No, I'm just kidding. It's not. Um... <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Okay, let's go. So Aki, not much to say. I think absolutely super strong, similar to Geef, I think. Uh, in how she might have struggles. She might be better, she might be up in the S tier, but I need to see more. That's the good thing about an early tier list. You can't really get called out too hard on it. Like if we make a tier list three, four months from now, we have to be more precise. But this is such an early tier list that I could have had Manon up there and people couldn't really blame me. I could say, oh, but you have to wait and see. Wait for the Stan Fierce buffs. I mean, it might say something about my ability to understand something in the game, but it would work. And then I think Ed, just like those, obvious A plus character. Not much to say really. I don't really have much to say. I think she, he's an obvious A-plus character. I think modern Ed is better than regular Ed. I think if you want to play Ed, you should play modern Ed. And I've said that for quite some time. Uh, I mean, we saw that. So, yeah. I think Ed is like definitely not an S-tier by any means, but a very strong A-tier character. I think all of these characters are very strong. And then, yeah. I think Ed, and in my opinion, especially modern Ed, is super good. Uh, I guess that easy anterior which a lot of heads complain about and then that frustrating minigame mid-screen so yeah ed a plus for sure and then akuma is one of the absolute greatest characters in the game we might have to make his own like we might have to up we might up here have to make his own area as the game progresses right now i think i have to order him as the greatest character in the game when not played by veggy because then he is not, but when he is piloted by a strong player, I think he will be the greatest character in the game. I really think so. Uh, Akuma, super strong. I don't really understand the thing with uh, 1k health left when there is no there is no scaling beyond 50% in this game, right? So what does it really mean to have 1k health left? I really want to check that out a bit after we're done with the tier list to see what does it really mean because right now the only thing i can say is like it looks like he has low life because the bar moves faster but if you were hit for 10 percent on a 10k character every round start you wouldn't feel as you took as much damage as you feel with akumas i feel like that low health thing is more feel based it's like one but you took one heavy or one little bit less than one throw less in life uh the only real weakness i can see is that you have less total life on your critical art and you are more likely to die before getting critical art because a lot of the the combos do around 24 25 percent so if you're just before critical art you will die with akuma while you would survive with a different character that's like the only real weakness i can see with 1k health left other than actually having 1k health left but i think it looks bigger than it is because of how the health bar will then move a lot more in older games the scaling after 50 percent was like i don't remember what it was called but there was more scaling when you got below 50 percent so the difference in health values would matter more i think but now difference in health value matters less yeah gut scaling so so having like high health high hp would matter a lot more because of that scaling and having low hp also matter more but i think in this game maybe maybe i'm completely wrong and it is actually big but it is like being thrown once in the beginning of every round it's not like you feel like if you get thrown you have lost a round so let's look a bit into that how it looks uh later so yeah 
I think I'm pretty happy with this list. Menon could be weaker, but I don't really see there being a B tier in this game right now. And that's the thing that might change later. But uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this list. Maybe I forgot to mention some things about some characters, but it's an early list. I just want to say, okay, right now Zangief is 11th, but he's a potential top 10. We'll see how the game develops. But I think these characters are unmatched. That's my opinion. I think these characters are just better than the rest of the cast still. They have been brought closer together, which is cool. I do think that all characters are closer now than they were in the last patch, maybe with an exception of Akuma. But I do remember that most, of, more or less all of this is not ordered. Like, I ordered Akuma because it's obvious. I wanted to have Gif high in A+, plus because I think he's a potential super... Like, he's very strong. To me, he feels very strong right now. Uh, I don't think S tier is suitable for a lot of characters in A+, plus because they have too many big flaws. Uh, yeah. So, I think this is a cool early list. And we'll see if there will be B tier characters. Some of the S tiers drop. I don't see it right now, because they're basically the same as they were last season. A uh, little bit brought closer together, and I think that's cool. So we'll see how the season develops. There's a lot of good stuff this season. Characters are brought closer together, um, and some of the system mechanic changes are really good, like the parry system mechanic change, uh, and things like that. I think also the dry reversal changes were pretty good. So let's see how it develops, and this is my early list, and I'm just excited for the rest of the season. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, feel free to like the video. If you have anything to say, just comment away, and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and until next time, bye. Baby, baby!